Good morning, students. So we'll continue with our discussion on PDAs, what we have seen, what we have uh, seen till yesterday. So we have seen uh, some of the basic block diagram of uh, what a PDA will contain. PDA means it's personal digital assistant. It could be a mini a miniature sized uh, desktop or laptop which you can have it in your hand and you can carry it anywhere. It will have the essential basic functionalities required for uh, doing the basic computation so that is assured from the manufacturer so see some of the functions which can uh, do uh, done by PDAs are given here it can manage personal information it can store the contact information you can create to do list then you can schedule appointments you can plan projects it will have the world time zones you can perform calculations you can keep track of expenses you can do mail operations you can do internet access so you can play mp3 files, you can play videos, you can play video games, it will act like a digital camera, you have a GPS receiver so that you can track your location. So these are the different uh, applications generally given. In word processing, you know it is uh, Microsoft Office, you will have a lot of things, the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access Database, all features, basic features are there. So the advanced features you need means you have to upgrade your, uh, we have to upgrade our uh, things. Okay, and different uh, vertical markets where we have this application is one in health professionals. So in uh, many health professionals, health professionals means need not be doctors alone. You can have physicians, doctors, nurses, and pharmacists. They need to regularly keep track of their patient information, right? So a doctor has to periodically check the status of his patient. So nurses have to monitor their vital parameters. And the pharmacists, they have to regularly inform the patient that uh, the medicine is due to be purchased. So all these people generally come under the category of healthcare professionals, so physicians, nurses, and pharmacists. So they uh, they uh, use these uh, PDAs very frequently. And uh, so doctors can uh, doctors can uh, nurses uh, they cannot carry laptops or huge. Uh, devices so but they can carry pdas in their pockets so they can they can pick the pda immediately and they can see what can be done to uh, fit the patient record monitor the patient reading and so they have a program dosage calculator so they can uh, prescribe the required dose for their patients okay with the advancement in mobile technology home health services has been picking up now teleconsultation has become the norm so you need not physically go to the doctor you just need to upload your report and the doctor will send you prescriptions. You can take medications. Worst case, you can go for uh, medication. And now with COVID, when hospital beds are not available, many doctors are available uh, giving teleconsultation for mild uh, COVID patients, right? So if the symptoms are not that um, uh, severe, you can uh, be in home quarantine and you can take the uh, uh, help of a doctor from the home. So that facility is uh, available now. So the constant uh, communication uh, the the cost reduction benefits of PDAs uh, uh, ensures that the patients early departure from the hospital. So they they need not be in the hospital to the complete cure. So partially they are cured means they can take them to home and by constantly monitoring uh, the parameters from the home using a PDA, the doctors can uh, do that do their job easily. So that the potential next set of patients who are in badly requirement of a bed, they can come and occupy the bed. And astronomers, yes, astronomers carry a laptop to drive their computer. Astronomers, those space explorers, right? They also use the PDAs to do their calculations, truck drivers. We use always uh, maps and uh, locations to each other location. We see how much time we How much time we take to reach a particular location? What is the map? Number of stops? All these things the PDA can do. PDAs can assist in the truck drivers. Next one, service technicians. The PDAs can assist them in uh, locating the uh, uh, where is their fault, how to go to the location, and diagnostics. All these things can be done. So verticals means across different domains. Horizontal means the same domain across different persons. Okay, vertical we have seen healthcare. Uh, I astronomers, truck drivers, service technicians, and vertical. So these are all vertical means completely different applications uh, require these PDAs. Horizontal means the same application, different types of uh, different types of job uh, where these PDAs can be 
employed okay so that is uh, both in horizontal and vertical markets pdas have been uh, uh, effectively doing their job so initially the cost for pda was $2000 per pda but now with the technological advancements and uh, other thing uh, we have we have reduced the price of pda and if you spend additional rupees you can uh, completely make your pda to be a hi-fi device it can do all the processing applications required for you and you need not require the help of a computer or a thing even a pda can be used as a set-top box tv you can uh, view the channels in your pda so everything effortlessly you can send mail you can do all processing if you have pda in your hand okay on pda market the leading uh, manufacturers of pdas is given here casio uh, dell computers hewlett packard hp lg electronics palm computing is a company nokia philips Sion, samsung sharp and sony so apple computer apple was the first thing to enter the market without a keyboard uh, they they called their first product as Newton, and it was for given 1998. The Apple was expected to announce the new line of products, and PC manufacturers like HP, Toshiba are also targeting the PDA market so that uh, they can uh, uh, they can sell their product, they can advertise their product and sell it with uh, uh, ease. Okay. Mm. The other things, so what are the market trends? This is the commercial aspect. So the individual features. The form factor, uh, what it is doing to individual, or how it can ensure wireless connectivity, what are the competing products, all these can be studied if you analyze different uh, things. Okay, form factor is uh, uh, what is form factor is they will see whether your device is small or it is portable, it is uh, lightweight, whether you can hold it in the hand and operate, whether it is expensive, whether it is heavier than a computer, how it is popular. All these things are going to be considered for form factor. And palm computing, you are going to use palm-based PDAs. The size is going to be the size of your palm. And it is going to use RTOS, real-time operating system, or it is called as palm OS. So palm OS have garnered wide uh, support because of the ultra small thin size, size of the palm. Okay, and these palm tops, uh, palm uh, uh, assistants or palm uh, computing or palm PDAs, they are going to be going to drive the market in the next few years. And then we have from uh, Handspring, one company called Handspring, they have their own uh, palm top PDA, palm PDA. Next, we have from Microsoft. Microsoft has its own Windows RTOS, which can be used, used in the same uh, pocket uh, PC. Sometimes this. Uh, they call this palm top a pocket PC where you can carry this in a near pocket with ease. It will not be that much uh, weight also. And these platforms offer a memory. You have a keyboard, a track pointer, and a trackpad or a color screen. About uh, two pounds in weight and they cost around $800. So we have seen PDAs cost $2,000 and these palm tops are going to cost only $800. Okay. And they are going to have an improved speed and the battery life. And other companies, Epoch and Symbion. So these two or the other companies which are going to manufacture your uh, PDA. So now how am I going to connect the internet to my PDA? So wireless connectivity is the only option. You can also have wired connectivity where you can uh, connect a high-speed cable to your PDA. But in that case, your PDA becomes immobile. The mobility is completely restricted, right? So you, when you have a wired connection, you cannot move and uh, you cannot get the required uh, mobility or the data even though the so even though it is uh, uh, required uh, that uh, high speed is available only from wired media but the mobility becomes restricted so wireless connection uh, just like how you use in your mobile phones you just select a network and connect it through a wi-fi hotspot same thing can be done okay so wireless lan connectivity is very simple wi-fi it is called as wireless fidelity so it allows uh, the users to connect to their network automatically if you have a registered username and password so you can access even in airports and stations we have this uh, wi-fi and wlan application where 15 minutes you are allowed to browse free and after that you can pay and browse that facility is available so your pdas can uh, uh, can get connected to these things and even uh, 
infrared so bluetooth and other infrared based communication is also being offered inside the pda so you have something called as irda infrared data acquisition and bluetooth which are uh, likely playing a small role in transferring data among devices the speed will be limited the range will be limited but you cannot uh, 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 do an internet data connection with uh, Bluetooth or IRDA. That is, that will be very, very small. Uh, less uh, the speed will be very, very less because of the restrictions that technology is offering. But you can transfer data among the devices at the maximum. See here between nine point six kbps to sixteen mbps. So among devices, if you want to share file or data or any uh, movie or song you can do that using a bluetooth enabled link which you can uh, now we have applications like share it and other things right so those operate on bluetooth connection only so establishing you have bluetooth and wifi based uh, uh, devices which are uh, used for data transfer 